All sportsmen can point to a career-defining moment. You always think about that, because that changed your world, that changed your life. Always. For Frenchman Henri Leconte, it came in 1988, when he was playing at his very peak. He went into Roland Garros that year with the hopes of a nation on his shoulders. I always, always, I always love to play the big guns on the, at the French Open. It was kind of strange to have my game was going so well on clay, because everybody was thinking then I really only have the game to play well on grass or hard courts or you know fast surface. No, I love clay. I love to play on clay to be able to to change the rhythm and to slice coming to the net, serve and volley, which is. You know, not that easy to do on the clay, but it's, uh, it's, it's great to do it because you feel it. And uh, that's why I had all my best result was on clay. Leconte was superb on the red dirt at Roland Garros, playing his way to the round of 16, where he faced Boris Becker, a match he will never forget. You always have some good memories, especially a match like uh, against Boris, because I used to play Boris a lot at Wimbledon and he was always killing me on grass. And he was very, very powerful. So the only thing, the only chance that I had uh, is to beat him on, 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 on clay. That's what I did in the French Open. And that was a great match because that was two big guns. Well, Boris was hitting the ball really hard against me who was doing the same thing. Leconte triumphed in five sets and was now a genuine contender for the title. He went from strength to strength, and after victories over Andre Chesnikov and Jonas Svensson, he was in his first ever Grand Slam final. This was Henri Leconte's moment. To come to the final of the French, I was playing so well. I think uh, that was the best moment of my career. Then I realized I'm in the final. Maybe I realized too much. Maybe I was happy already to be in the final. Maybe. Since 1946, the only Frenchman to win at Roland Garros had been Yannick Noah in 1983. Leconte could now write his own piece of history. It's very emotional because you played the final of the French against Mats Villander, you had 5-4, serving for the first set, then you missed, it's 5 all, then you lost the first set. That is not because of the racket, it's because of you. That narrow first set defeat proved decisive. Mats Verlander triumphed 7-5-6-2-6-1. It would be the closest Henri Leconte ever came to a singles Grand Slam title. He has no regrets and he will never forget that final. Every day, you always think about that. The good memories still that I have uh, I played very well. I played the best tennis so far, I think, for just to produce six great matches. I lost the last one. Unfortunately, that's life. What might have been, but without doubt the achievements of Leconte at Roland Garros that year made an indelible mark on French tennis history.